is the most sensitive Minnesota fight in Vikings player? These are the important questions. An investigation must be done. And this is why we get paid the medium bucks. Just hitting hardcore topics like this. Uh, because uh, uh, Blake Prohl, uh, Vikings uh, second year wide receiver, uh, unfortunately still on the pup list, but he put it out on the gram. Uh, a whiteboard, uh, I'm assuming, is in the wide receiver room because, you know, what? why would Blake Prohl be in, I don't know, like the linebackers meeting room? Uh, top five most sensitive in the locker room. And it's a very interesting top five. Uh, so let's zoom in and enhance. So uh, if this is indeed uh, the wide receiver meeting room, of course, there's going to be a lot of cornerbacks. There's going to be DBs on there because those are the two position groups that interact the most and, and also the most... <laughs> where you get down each other's damn nerves, right? Uh, so it, it's an interesting top five. So they got Booth Jr. Uh, I assume Booth A is Andrew Booth Jr., the uh, the uh, second-round pick rookie cornerback who's already established a reputation for being a chirper. Like, like he'll get after it uh, with some of the wide receivers verbally, uh, John with uh, ISM as, as well as some of the other wide receivers. And uh, the fact that he's already at the top, well, it, it's, it's interesting top five because it's, him at the top and then it's one exclamation point and then it skips the three four five so it, it, it's kind of interesting also what is the definition of sensitive here so i'm thinking in a alpha dog type a environment that is a professional sports locker room it's a lot of hey uh you can talk ish but you can't take it so when you, once you start getting verbally ripped on maybe you go into a shell maybe you're just like ah, uh, and then maybe you lash back that so i think that would be the definition of sensitive also yeah what's kind of fun is if you call someone sensitive and then you're like i'm not sensitive and they're like ha got them these nuts so if someone calls you sensitive it, it is a kobayashi maru basically you just have to sit there and take it and just be like yeah all right that's about it. Uh, so Booth will be at one. And also what's, what's really cool is that they've really only been around Andrew Booth Jr. for, I don't know, 25 days total, given the offseason and training camp. So he's already up there at one and is not close. It's kind of hilarious. Uh, so number two or one exclamation point, uh, Chris Boyd slash Amir, uh, Amir Smith-Marset. So you got the cornerback, a wide receiver matchup going on. So. It's kind of funny. Number three, uh, tr I assume that's Tristan Jackson, uh, the wide receiver 2020 UDFA coming over from the Rams, uh, quietly having a really nice training camp. I think that he has a chance to make the team. And then you got Diamond Dan Chisena. Uh, I, I assume that's who Dan is. Uh, again, this is likely the wide receiver room, and these names sync up with some of the wide receivers and DBs. So there you go. Also, so sensitive, you know, be beyond the whole not being able to t uh, take – uh, trash talk uh, does does it include crying at movies you know like the end of Toy Story 3 or watching This Is Us or the Seymour episode of Futurama no no still still raw still traumatic mm. or uh, sore teeth do, do they need Sensodyne that they can't have cold liquids is that what sensitive means I don't know or is there chafing going on gotta wear pasties underneath the pads I don't know uh, there's a lot of, of definitions of sensitivity, which is kind of confusing. So when a non-native English speaker tries to learn English, uh, it, it's really weird because each word has so many different definitions. It's like when out-of-state people come to the great state of Minnesota, they're confused by the roads because the roads have multiple names and numbers. Like Cedar Avenue, uh, it's either 77, sometimes it's 23, depending where you are. It's also Cedar Avenue. So I can see why it's kind of confusing. Anyway, uh, number four. So you got Blake, who, uh, again, I assume is Blake Pro, a wide receiver for the Vikings. Uh, I don't know who Dave J is. So I searched the directory. Uh, there's no Dave J. Uh, there's no David J. There's no Dave Johnson uh, on the roster either. Uh, I mean, maybe Zach Davidson, except that, that where does a J come from? That doesn't make sense. Uh, but also note, it's got a arrow pointing up and a plus two. So people obviously uh, agree uh, in that regard. And then number five, so you got Amanda D slash Adam. Now, uh, Amanda, uh, Amanda D. Kenick. Uh, is the assistant athletic trainer for the Vikings. So uh, them spending a lot of time uh, uh, around each other uh, in a professional work environment, obviously maybe get on each other's nerves and crack some jokes. Go ahead. So maybe that's why uh, she is potentially on that list, uh, if that is indeed her. And Adam, I'm guessing, is Adam Jerome Ezekiel Thielen, uh, since, uh, again, this is likely the wide receiver room. But uh, I don't know. 
again, this is wide receiver and cornerback focus since, you know, those two position groups bump up against each other all the time and get on each other's damn nerves, man. Uh, like the padded practices. I mean, the, we, we've seen actually you see all over the league at training camps, wide receiver DBs. Those are the first ones that have fisticuffs. It's not necessarily the interior offensive lineman, although it is certainly them as well uh, against the D line. But yeah, wide receivers, cornerbacks, because you have all that chirping when there's no contact. And plus the wide receivers are getting the best of the cornerbacks uh, in uh, one-on-one, uh, one-on-one drills because there's no safety help over the top as well as there's no press coverage. So, yeah, cornerbacks get sick of it. And then they lash out, man. They, they get after it. So that's why uh, there's a number of cornerbacks on this list. But I don't know. It, it's kind of funny. And it, it's – see, before – before social media, you didn't get like these insights. You didn't get like this quirky stuff. And you know, Pearl's not putting out you know the annexation of Puerto Rico. He's not putting out the the team secret plays or the secret sauce or or whatever. But I mean, just stuff like this, where you're getting a glimpse inside the locker room. Like this would be a fantastic question for B Rob and 96 Questions. Uh, who, who's the most sensitive player in the locker room? And, and again, it's that catch 22. It, it's the unanswerable question. It's like, hey, who's the most sensitive? Hey, you're the most sensitive. I'm not sensitive. <sighs> Got him. Got him, man. Uh, but who, who do you think is the most sensitive player uh, in the Vikings locker room? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.